Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video, C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to write a C++ simple GUI application on Linux. So we start from Qt Creator. We start to select the new file project. And the project box, we select the application Qt. And on the application box, we select a Qt widget application. So we click a choose. And uh, the directory we are going to build is under test. Choose. And we are going to our project, my Qt GUI test. And we click next. And we keep default setting here. We also keep default setting here. And the language, we're going to choose English Canada. And we click next. We select the desktop QT. And we click next. Add version control, not this time. I click finish. Now Qt Creator has created the whole structure of our GUI project with my Qt GUI test. So we start from the form and the user interface design. So under this box, we're going to add a line editor. And we are going to add Okay, we're going to add a two button here. So we'll try to make a simple GUI application. We click this button, write something here. And we click this button and clear the text here. So make a little smaller. So this is our design. So two button, one line box. So let's see its design works. We just run this. Okay, we have a line editor, we have two buttons, two push buttons, and uh, the design works. So we see this button, we're going to clear the text under the text box. So we're going to put the name C-L-E-A-R. We see the text here, making it clear, clear. This button, we'll keep this right now. We try to demonstrate how we change the text through program. So now we click, close this, save. And then we go to our main windows program. So first of all, we say we're going to the change the button, push button, text. There's the push button. And the push button. As a set text method, and we are going to change this to the C L E C T. Okay, so this uh, we are going to change the push button text to the select the other button. It's push button two. We already modified during the design, 
So now go back to design. So this we say when this button click clicked, we're going to write something here, right? So we have to make something for when this button clicked. So what we do, we right click on this button, we select go to slot, and we select a click. And there be the Qt creator will build a method on button clicked. So what we do is say we're going to set the text of a line editor. As a set text method. And what we're going to print there. So I'm going to print it there. It says hello world, I'm here. Okay, so when that button, we go back to our design, we say on this button clicked, we're going to clean this box. So we, what we do, we right click on it, we say go to slot, and we select the click. We click OK. Now we click a push button to clicked. And what we do, we're going to make this empty. So when button push button clicked, we print hello world, I'm here. When push button two clicked, we empty all the text. So let's see what's going on. We click save, we save all, we build. It's taking time to build, it's slow. So now this window come out, right? We have two buttons. This button you can see the text changer selected. This is clear, we already set up yet, so we click select. Here we print the hello world, I'm here. This button clear, it's closed, clean, select, clean, select. So this is the text font here, by default is so small, I right? hard to see. So is, is it possible to change font to make it larger? Yes. So let's try to make in text line editor font bigger. So how we do, we go to our windows, you know, and then we try to say what is the UI, what we are going to change, we are going to change line editor, and uh, under line editor, it has a method called a set, set style sheet. So in this set style sheet, we need a few argument and uh, call the string, we call the Q, line, editor. And uh, curly bracket, we're going to see what we're going to do this way. We try to send, put a font. We're going to change the font size. And because it's too small, we're going to make it bigger, 16 pixel. By now, we just change this one. So we set style sheet, change the font size to 16 pixel. Let's see how it's going on. We save, build. Uh, there's something wrong because here. So we forgot the semicolon. So let's try again. Now it's gone. Now 
then we build it's everything green now come out so we have still have our design we click here look says three times the font is much bigger compared to preview we saw this clean select clean select so this set star sheet is very powerful they're not only just a font, uh, set font size also other attribute let's see we can see the color set the color to red you can set it as bold italian underline and uh, so let's see just to see we set color let's run this again and let's click select you see the text here the color became red clear select so now let's suppose we finish our develop we're going to build a release so we select the release and we click the build button we build now start a building and then we are going to go to Linux to see how we run this from Linux. So let's see, still building. Okay, so let's go. So let's go to our Linux box. So let's see, we are going to build. We have already built the release. Let's go to release directory. So now we can see our binary executable has been built here. So we try to say we run this from Linux. Just click enter. Our windows come out. We have two buttons, one called select, another called clear. We have a line editor. We click select. There's a red hello world. I'm here. So you can see through the Qt creator, it's so easy to build a simple GUI application. This is a way. Thanks for watch my video. Wish this is not too boring, and uh, you're welcome to have uh, your feedback.